Okay, so something very important to remember when installing an amplifier is most splitters are like this one. So your antenna input will come in here and you have four outputs. You'll note one has a line from in to out. So this is the one that you need to plug the power supply for the amplifier in. So power supply is something like this. This is a DC power supply. They will usually come with your amplifier when you buy it. So it consists of a little plug pack that goes into the power point on the wall and this that connects into the socket. So you need to have this one connected onto the outlet that's connected to this output of the splitter. If you plug it into one of the other outputs, you would net, your amplifier would not work, it wouldn't power up and you'd have no TV signal. So there's a common problem with amplifiers. Um, people will move out of the house, they'll take this power supply along with them and the next tenant comes in and the TV system doesn't work at all because it's missing the power supply. The other problem is if you have it plugged into the wrong place, again it won't work. So you've got to make sure you've got it plugged into the right output. So you may need to go up into the roof, check how the splitter is configured and even potentially move the outputs around so you have it going to the socket you want it to go to. So there are two types of these amplifiers. Actually there are four types really. So this is a DC power supply. Some power supplies are AC. So you need to make sure you have the right power supply for your particular type of amplifier. Now if you buy them together that won't be a problem, but if you're replacing a missing power supply, you need to make sure you get the right type for the particular amplifier that you have. The other two variations, this is an F-type power injector. So it has F connectors. So this is really designed to be installed in, behind the wall, behind the socket. Um, the other type has a power connector, the type that just goes straight into the wall. So this end would go straight into the wall and then you plug your TV cable going to the TV or your you know, um, recorder into that one. So it says two television and two amplifier. So with these type, you typically have one of these type of adapters supplied along with it. So we have here the socket. So there's a TV socket, standard power TV socket. So this would actually screw onto the back of that socket. And then you'd take the two television part and you'd screw that in there like that. It'd be a little bit awkward to get started. There we go. And then the cable coming from the antenna, or coming from the splitter, would go into there. And you just have this little cable hanging out the wall. And you plug that into the TV, uh, into the uh, power outlet. So that's that type, but the other type plugged directly into here. So I usually uh, suggest getting this particular type, except in your, if you're in a house that is a rental, then these are better because, because it's plugged into the wall, tenants are less likely to take it away with them.